Latavius, and every loss hurts, obviously, but when you look at the way you guys have played coming off your wins, does that make them even more disappointing, those losses? Um, I think it's definitely more frustrating because you're trying to get, you know, a series of wins put together. Um, and again, you, I mean, you know the preparation you put in uh, week in and week out. So any loss is definitely uh, disappointing. But definitely when you're trying to put a series of wins together and come up short, they're uh, definitely frustrating. You know, uh, coaches, you know, can, can teach and do a lot of, you know, talking, but it seems like uh, Tony can also do some lead by example things because he he was talking about uh, just staying focused on this week despite the fact that you guys are so close to the end here. Uh, can coaches lead by example just by kind of marching through the week and staying on task? Um, without a doubt, I think uh, you know when you got a coach that's constantly reminding you, uh, you know, yeah, the season is coming to an end, but uh, you know just to, to remain focused at, at you know each game each week. Uh, especially regardless of the you know the win whether we had against San Francisco or Kansas City, just trying to you know keep us focused and bounce back for that next game, uh, regardless if we won or lose. Seems like this team has really kind of uh, rallied uh, uh, behind him, even though the the uh, results haven't always been what you want. I'm without a doubt. Um, you know, I think Tony's done a you know a great job, and I think everybody in, in the locker room uh, you know loves his approach and. Uh, you know, he's. I feel he's definitely a player's coach, and you know, we all love uh, playing for him. So, uh, again, you know, we've been coming up short on some games, but uh, that definitely doesn't change the mentality we have each week going forward. Toronto has said that your progression process was just maybe a little slower than some of the other younger players. What have you done differently to get the opportunity that you're getting now? Uh, well, I just kept, you know, continue to work each uh, each week, uh, regardless of you know if I was playing on special teams. A lot or a little, um, whether I was getting my chance in that running back, uh, and made sure you know in practice too. I was you know working really hard uh, on the look team to give them a look, or my reps you know on the offensive team. So uh, just made sure I kept doing what I'm doing and just kept getting better each week, and just uh, made sure that I was doing my part, uh, which regardless of which phase it was. But David, this might be an unfair question to ask you, but you had talked about Tony has the players all love his approach. Is it fair to say that, that there's unanimous support, universal support in the locker room for him to come back next year? Uh, I mean, I think it's fair to say that. You know, with everyone that I'm close with, we, you know, we definitely, you know, li like Tony, and uh, I definitely uh, don't mind playing for him at all. Uh, the, uh, all of these game films where you're, like, where you're getting maybe 17, 12, 15 touches, are these really valuable because there aren't a lot of padded practices like anymore do you, for you to really evaluate live football? Do you, do you feel like you're learning a lot from being able to watch these things and see the uh, decisions that you make? Uh, without a doubt. Um, like you said, you know, being on the practice field is, you know, completely different to going out there, you know, in a real game action. Um, so I definitely think I'm learning. I'm learning also on the practice field, but you're definitely learning out there on the field against, you know, opponents. Uh, and only can help myself when I go in and see the film and correct it and uh, just get better again each week. You talked about focus a moment ago and staying focused through these last couple of weeks of the season. You are surrounded by veteran players who have been through the ringer and, and are running backs coach has been here for, for a while too. How much does that help with those guys? I mean, it helps a lot just to know that they've been in the situation before. Um, you know, and it's not just – some guys that's just talking like, oh, you know, we should do this, we need to do that. You know, it's guys that's been in the situation before and uh, guys that has played a lot of football, so it makes it a lot easier, you know, listening to them. It seemed like on some of those, uh, you know, uh, uh, efficient runs like that you had, you kind of waited like just a tick for, for your blocking to a lineup and then you kind of hit, like, hit the hole. Like, is that something that you have to learn kind of to not panic and just trust that, that that rushing lane is going to open up? Yeah, you. I mean, you have to have, you know, patience, and obviously you have to be on the same page with, you know, the offensive line. Um, uh, you know, you have to know the scheme, you know, where the ball is supposed to be, where it's supposed to hit. Um, and then if something does go wrong, you got to know uh, how to, you know, react on, on the spare of the moment. So, uh, you know, we're still getting better. We're still learning each, each week, um, you know, as a whole, you know, as far as the running backs and, you know, the offensive line goes. So, uh, I think we definitely can uh, only get better.
I'd say this, you say that you and your teammates really enjoy Coach Sperano's approach. Other than the fact that he's a, I mean, you call him a coach's coach, could you talk a little bit about what that approach is? How would you describe it? Um, well, I think he's a guy that, you know, I guess he can relate to us players a lot. Um, you know, he's constantly motivating us, uh, you know, constantly. Um, you know, he has quotes for us, things to just put it in perspective, I guess, uh, outside of football in a way. Um, so he just kind of reminds us that, you know, even though uh, the season hasn't gone the way we want it to go, uh, just to stay positive, remain positive, and just try to look forward to that next week. How are you looking at these next two games personally? Or are you looking at it maybe as a chance to prove that, hey, you don't need to go out and get anybody else. I can be your feature back. Is that kind of how you're thinking about well, it? Is that maybe too much? Or? Um, well, I, I just want to go out there and be productive. Uh, that's for sure. And I want to do anything I can to help the team win. And, uh, you know, in that process, if it is, you know, hey, just proving that, you know, maybe I deserve a chance to remain the starter, you know, that's it. But, um that's not really what's been in, in my train of thought. Just really just, um, you know, just getting better, um, doing anything I can to help the team win and, and running hard.